It is recording. Okay, so I just want to give you guys, as a community, a, a general heads up. We have an issue going on. Our student Matt, he purchased a 2001 Nissan Maxima. It has some issues, and he's taking it to a shop to get those issues resolved. He's spending a substantial chunk of change on doing this car, which is fine. The, the issue that we've come across is Matt just made me aware that there is a oil, there was an incredible amount of oil inside of the, um, the engine when he checked the dipstick. Now, I've owned a 2006 Buick Lucerne that I paid for that had a blown head gasket. Oftentimes in this situation, the head gasket will blow and it will draw all of the fluid into the oil pan, all right? Now be aware, you go to check the oil and it just looks like a lot of oil. It, may, it doesn't have to look creamy. It doesn't have to look like milk. The reason it would look like milk is if the vehicle has been running and it has combined and made a slurry out of the two ingredients that are, are now in it. But after it sets, it actually breaks apart again and oil floats on top of liquid, on top of water. The oil is less dense. All right, so when you pull the dipstick out of a overfilled oil or a blown head gasket or an engine that has what appears to be too much oil, the tip of it is in the water. The top of it is in the oil. You're gonna even pull the tip through the oil, okay? So when you do that, it just looks like there's extra oil. Now, I called this gentleman, I called this shop, and I asked him, hey sir, could you check the oil on this? Um, Matt has said that there is too much oil in the system. And he goes, oh, I just checked the oil, it looks fine. I said, sir, if you would please, the oil floats on top of what, and this gentleman hung up on me, this shop. Okay, so we're teaching integrity. We want our children, we want our students, we want, People that know how to do this, when when you're when you're when you're becoming a mechanic, become a good mechanic. Don't follow suit with people like that. So I ended up calling this guy back, and they said that they had already drained the oil and everything looks good. Now Matt has just brought to my attention that when he bought the vehicle, there was no fluid in the radiator. Where's the fluid going? If the if the oil and the gentleman who sold him the car said he just did an oil change. This is a problem. This is a lemon. It sounds like. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this shop do all this work, okay? Because they, they, they're so confident in themselves that I'm apparently wrong, and I'm, I'm not gonna badmouth them, I'm just gonna let them do the job. When we get that car back, I'm gonna walk in with this phone, and I'm gonna record this transaction, this, this interaction that's gonna take place. I'm gonna ask them, I'm gonna say, sir, I, I just wanna make sure that you understand it. What I'm about to do is we're about to take this car for a ride. You've just done a fresh oil change on it. So what I should see here shortly is if I drive this car 40 or 50 miles, the oil level should not go up. If the oil level goes up, you didn't listen to me, and we want all of the money back that you have just put this young man through. This is a 19 year old man that you're taking advantage of, and we're, gonna, we're just, gonna, you're just gonna take all, we're gonna, you're gonna pay us. You're gonna pay him for his car because you didn't have to start doing the job in the first place until you told us for certain that that gasket was, in fact, perfectly fine. So now that, if it comes across that the oil level stays the same, then I was wrong. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. And so should all of you. We all need to be safer than sorry. These mechanics are out here just trying to take your money, guys. The pandemic is really hurting people. They're just doing whatever they can to get whatever they can off of you and charging exorbitant fees. And it's not even worth it. So before you buy a car, check the oil, check the coolant fluid, check the coolant levels. Of course, these are obvious things you would think are just obvious. They're not. Common sense is not that common, okay? So I want to make sure that Matt checked these things. He knew these things. But the problem was is that he didn't know that these were symptoms of a much greater problem. So this shop's going to, he's going to, they're charging him $1,500 to do this job. All the struts, brakes, uh, serpentine belt, all kinds of just different things. But if they didn't listen to me when I asked them to check this thing and they did all that work and then there comes to be a blown head gasket, we've got a problem. Okay. So let's go ahead and just um, hope for the best on this one. But... Be aware of what you guys are doing. This is a very important thing. You're, you're spending your money. You work for your money. And however you got it, it's yours. Don't lose it to somebody who doesn't care about your stuff, okay? So that's all I wanna say. Uh, that's a quick breakdown of really what we're looking for here. It's very important though, just remember that, okay? Like, subscribe, thumbs up, follow me. We're getting ready to do some really big stuff, guys. I appreciate y'all, much love.